Now, on to the next question, which comes from Andrew Futural. I hope I didn't like just butcher your last name, Andrew. Having trouble closing slash finding the right clients, what did you do at first? Now, I wanna break this down because for me, words mean everything. There's a difference between finding and closing business. Finding clients is easy, easy. Closing business is where the challenge really comes in. So let me break this down for you. You can use social networks like search engines. You can go right now onto Twitter, onto Instagram, and you can find real people that will be clients. I'll give you an example. If you are in a home inspection business, you can go on Instagram and you can look up neighborhoods or communities in the cities that you serve and you can see who has their house listed for sale or you can just see people that are posting photos within that community and then all you need to do is just start engaging in the content of the people that are posting content in those communities. Simple. So again, finding clients is not hard. As long as you know how to find them and how to use social media to run the right searches in order to find people. Now let's talk about closing business. That implies that someone is going to write you a check or they're gonna swipe a credit card. That transaction is where the challenge comes in because if I don't know you, if I don't like you, and if I don't trust you, then how do you expect me to give you my money? So let's break what I just said down. When you are trying to close business, it's important that you are closing business with people that feel comfortable in doing business with you, someone that you like doing business with and that likes doing business with you as well, and someone that trusts you with their business, and someone that knows that you're going to over deliver in exchange for the monies that they're paying you for goods, products, or services. So with that being said, use social media not only to listen and pay attention and engage, but really to build relationships. So you asked before, what did I do at first? Well, before I started my agency and went independent, I spent the better part of a decade networking and meeting people. And then about a year before I made that jump from working in a corporate job to then working for myself, I started planting the seed. Little by little, as I would meet people, I would let them know, hey, look, I'm probably going to be working on my own within the next year. I'd love for us to find a way to work together. Like, and that's still kind of my classic line. Like what, that last piece I just said, I would love to find a way for us to work together. That's not necessarily right hooking someone or pitching them. You're just planting the seed. You're giving someone the opportunity. So I say this a lot, especially with uh, Luigi, my creative director over here, I say to him a lot when we're on the road, you can give someone the opportunity. Here's an opportunity, boom. You can take it if you want it. It's up to you to take the opportunity. And that's, that's again, my mindset when it comes to working with people. I can tell a brand all day long, like, hey, I'd love to find a way for us to work together and make some things happen because I believe in you. And more importantly, I want to help you, the individual, thrive and I want to help your company succeed. If you don't want to take it, that's on you. My life's gonna go on. I'm gonna keep investing in other relationships. And that's how you have to think of business. You can't take it too personal, where if someone says no, you get all bent out of shape and you focus on that one person. You just gotta keep moving forward and have the right mindset that you're presenting the opportunity and it's up to them to take it.